Greetings from ITU headquarters in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined by Mark Pleason, the CEO of ISARA Corporation. Mark joins us today to talk about X509 digital certificates and the most recent revision of this uh, key standard in the public key infrastructure. Mark, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Mark, X509 has been very important to the rise of e-business. It's helped to build trust online. Could you take us through the last 30 years of the standard and how effective it's been? Well, the standard it was created at the uh, the ITU, the T sector, and is the most widely used public key infrastructure uh, certificate standard in the world. Basically, it protects our information on the internet, and whether it's a private internet or the internet. The, the most recent revision of the standard is looking ahead, looking to when the rising threat of quantum computing. Could you? I know it's difficult to do, but give us a brief introduction of. Uh, quantum computing and the threat to security in particular? Well, quantum computing uh, operates quite a bit differently than uh, conventional computing. Um, there are certain problems that are very easy for quantum computers to solve, and certain problems that are not so easy. It just happens that the problems that are very easy to solve, two of the problems are the integer factorization and the discrete logarithms problem, yep. both of which protect our information on the infra internet. ISARA is participating in our expert group on security, known as Study Group 17. Could you take us through the motivations for your participation and why international standardization will be so important in this arena? Well, international standardization is vital for the serious and sophisticated user of cryptographic solutions, security solutions, and the like, such as governments, OEMs, and, and the like. They won't accept a proprietary solution. That just is not possible. Uh, because First of all, a standardized solution that's globally standardized, that's international from, for example, the ITU, will work the same way in every country of the world, no matter who the manufacturer of the software or hardware is. And second of all, when you're working in a standards body, you have the oversight of many experts. And so you, 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 get, you can get a lot of work done very credibly. And uh, the coming adoption of this revised standard, how will the adoption uh, play out? I mean, how, how would, what is the time frame we're looking at for this new standard to come into play? We're hoping that we will have a vote in uh, September, and uh, basically the work is, uh, for the most part, is completed. And what the work involves is adding a separate hybrid certificate to the X509 standard. Now what this allows, it allows the coexistence of existing infrastructure, with new infrastructure, new certificates with old certificates. It eases the cost of migration and the complexity. Mark, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thanks.